Hi. Hello. I just assume you're gonna be in full Cubs gear. Well. <laughs> How are you? Back to reality. I just got back on vacation yesterday. Where were you? How's it going? I'm Sean. Hi. Nice to hey, meet you. Hey, Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. Okay. It might look funny if you just were tossing wings out the window That's after true. you finished. Super excited to show you guys our guest today, reporter, columnist, radio personality, TV awesome sauce, Sarah Sp That's Sarah me. Spain. Sarah Spain is with us. We're here with ESPN columnist and reporter, Sarah Spain. And we're happy to welcome ESPN Sarah Spain. Listen, eight and eight would be a big upgrade for us. <laughs> You're like, I'm not it. even playing. Three and 13 to eight and eight, that's the kind of progress we need to see. Chicago right. fans don't give a crap what you look like. If you don't know your shit, they're not listening to you. If I have you anything in my teeth, by the way, you guys will let me know in the comments, I'm uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> we're not gonna let you know. Yeah. We're gonna watch you get roasted. Right, we, got, exactly. we got plenty of food from 50-50, excited to get in the car, eat it, show you guys everything. See you in the automobile. Sarah, say what up. What up? All right, gang, what we got? We got four different sauces, four different kinds of wings. Mm-hmm. Boneless and traditional. We got fried pickles, and we have bacon cheese loaded fries, all from 50-50. Yep. And uh, what, the nicest human beings I've ever met in my yeah. life? Yeah, Sarah, give a shout out, because people cool need to know how awesome guests. that spot Shots is. To Scott and Eddie. Yes. Everybody that works there is awesome. Yeah. The Super owners, funny guys, too. And they own a bunch of spots in Chicago, and Good. everywhere I go that they run is just a really cool, unique spot, and that's why I love the 50-50. Yeah, so this is considered sweet. Wicker Park, right? This is like yes. on division. Check it out. Links are below this video if you want to hang out with 50-50 yes. crowd. They're awesome. Best wings in the city. Not just because they do boneless. The boned ones that everyone else likes are good too. I like boneless. But we boneless. will be the judges of that. Yes. And on the show, we yell, jump cut. Yeah. It's like Christmas, but with wings. Oh, that's my favorite kind of Christmas. <laughs> if you follow that's the Christmas Sarah's I always wings, wanted. If you actually just wrap chicken, chicken wings, <laughs> mom, you're the best. I think that's, so that's, that's that was traditional. Like several months earlier. This is definitely traditional. All right, yeah, I've got ranch and blue cheese. Holy Christ, these smells so good. If you good. follow Sarah Spain's career at all, or if you just know her from ESPN, I think you probably understand why she's wearing a Cubs hat. Yes. Why she's such a homer for her squad. I'm putting these sauces right where your elbow is. No, oh, you do so your thing. Oh, look at do. the size of that! <laughs> Are you kidding me? I don't even know that. This is how people need to be giving out blue cheese and ranch nowadays. I'm right. sick of those little tiny shot glasses. Corey, yeah, Corey, are you gonna have a heart? Are you? I'm gonna drink all this. Mm, fried pickles. Oh, fried pickles. <laughs> Dude, look how big these wings are. Let me see those bad. Look at like, just look at how they're so gigantic. Oh my god. I don't know if you can tell. That's mm. gotta be that bourbon. I think it is. It's bourbon That's barbecue. So good. We don't mm. taste these. Mm -hmm. Boom. S squared back there is a big boneless uh, chicken. Oh my god, you want to try one, bad boy? Yeah, obviously. Mmm. Dude, they're like perfectly... I just started eating fried pickles like two years Their ago. Their ranch is good. I was like really missing out. Oh my god. Right? Those are well. Did you try any ranch? Yeah, I dipped it right in. Yeah, good ranch. You ever like think you hate a food because you only had a really shitty version of it? I think I hate food because when I was growing up, I was just like, well, I probably won't like that. And then I got to college mm -hmm. and just started like in the cafeteria Trying eating and, and I was like, right. oh, I do like onions. Yeah. I do like whatever, you know. You guys I used to hear? eat beets because I thought they were only the like really slimy shit at the they're salad so bar. Right. And they're so good. You yeah. guys want to hear something else, a secret of mine? Of course. Mm -hmm. Just popped my fried pickle cherry right there. That was your first one? Was my first one of my whole life. Same can thing I, as you. I don't like trying new shit, but now I, all of a can sudden. Can I say something? Yeah, I'm on can I say something? Go back, dude. Don't. You got to follow it up right away. When nobody likes a drought when the idea mm, of good. fried pickles came up in organic conversation back in the restaurant mm -hmm. I Sensed in your voice <laughs> a little bit of hesitation, a little hesitation And yeah. I know how on this show you were down to eat whatever mm -hmm. I, I sensed it and I was like, you know what? That's probably just me giving Corey a hard time mm -mm. Right. I know you too well mm -hmm. Do you think it's because you want things in your wheelhouse because you know if you're gonna be your true car food critic you don't want to get surprised with something that you don't have. Yeah, I got to build up my repertoire. <laughs> right, you know? exactly. Well, now Can't you be a know rookie. you can now base your further reviews on these. Yeah, I've got a new flavor profile a added place to me. To start. Sarah, speaking uh, of, there's a giant pickle in here too. Corey, oh, yeah, that's, that's what's wrapped up that's in what there. That's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> 
Do you have, first. Sir, are you trying to say you got a dick in the box back there? <laughs> I do. It's my dick in a box. Oh my god. Actually, yes. there might be two. Which, oh, <laughs> two never dicks mind. In the box. What are we thinking? Of course it's celery. Uh, why oh. would there be pickles with our oh, wings? Oh, I thought you were going to say, why would there be a penis with our wings? Well, that's. Well, that would be weird. We have our <laughs> social lives, I guess. I'm we find out that's it. why Sarah loves this yep. place. Uh, yep. Do you want to hear a really bad, dirty joke? Yes. Yes. Why are. Do you remember it? Do you want to um. Why are women like KFC? Oh my god, why? Really oh, I don't even want to guess. Because once you're done with the breast and thighs, you've got a greasy box to put your bones in. <laughs> That's well, I'll see you guys see later. Bye, Corey. That's it. That's the best yeah. moment of this whole series <laughs> ever. What's the point of going on? It's my dick in a box. Oh By my the way, God, like so jokes funny. are so funny because they're not real, and I don't think that about women. Of right. course, um, yeah, right? <laughs> you don't have to like waste your time with like bones. Who wants no bones? <laughs> okay, so can't wait to spill all over your car. Get and no, no, it happens. Never have to get in here again. These are French fries covered in. I feel like I gotta I'm start. To eat these. I'm gonna start with Cheese, protein. Bechamel. Is this bacon? What's bechamel? Is that some? That's like a fancy French. Oh, you fancy? Like oh damn! Hold up. That's a French ass name, Yvonne. <laughs> Yeah, my little croissant, little cheese on my croissant. Cream based sauce, so I think if you have a chicken mm. bechamel, it's like you've whipped it okay. with some, uh, you know, French What okay. the hell is this? This French. is amazing. What the hell is this? <laughs> it was a chicken, I Look think. at how big this thing is. Holy Christ. That's Dude, what, what is said. this flavor? <laughs> Cheers. Is this smart? I'm really gonna be fired up about I'm eating. gonna have. Food on my face. Dude, wait till you try one of these. Eating kale for three days after this. <laughs> Sarah was telling us how she's like been eating so healthy, and like we asked her where she wanted to go. Yeah. And she's like, I don't want to. Oh my. I God. don't want to just suggest some healthy protein <laughs> yeah. bar play. Which protein bar is great. Yeah. If you want to eat well, you know, this is just more of a fun yes. video series food. Most of the places that I eat, I'll end up getting something super healthy and boring, mm -hmm. and then people will be like, Oh yeah, I don't want to go to there. Right. Mm -hmm. so, I don't want to go to that. I'm, I'm trying to suggest something people would actually right. want to go to. Also, if you're wondering, that yeah. B-roll you saw beforehand, yes, we did all have a cocktail. Yeah, we did. Because, like, what else would you do on, I think it's Tuesday at, the, like, 3 o'clock? The green room in this show is just a bar. Mm-hmm. Well, you guys also still provided me with my bag of green M&M's, 83 condoms, two buckets of KFC, <laughs> four <laughs> bottles of Tito's, and everything else that I usually mm -hmm. want. We don't normally so tell the uh, <laughs> the viewers that we give that away, but yes, mm -hmm. big green M&M's fans mm -hmm. and con. Yep. Oh, these wings are unreal, by the way. Gotta wrap it up. Wrap it up, B. You better wrap it up. You better wrap that gavel up, B. Does this got bones in it? No, those are bones. I can just bite into this? Do it. This is a wait, 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 put it in the ranch. Don't this be a savage. This whole big thing has got no bone in it. No, this that's is a just big a old wad chicken of wing. chicken. Is this the first time you've ever eaten food before? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> my, I have sensations in my mouth. Mm. <laughs> wait, so I put it in my mouth and then I chew. <laughs> oh my God. Right? See, I'm, I'm gonna a, convert you by the end. I don't You're know. You're gonna be like, you know what's cooler than wings is just <laughs> boneless wings where I don't even have to be wasting my time with like yeah, so veins much and bones and like grizzle. I just- Grizzle? Just house some meat. Mm. Mm. Grizzle, isn't that what you call it? Grizzle. Right, you're right, you're right, you're right. It's made up another word. That's like if That's you were too... eating a bear and right. had grizzle. Like oh, grizzle. right, grizzle, mm -hmm. grizzle, right. Like you listen to Webster? Grizzle. There's gonna be people on this video that are like, yeah, she was pretty funny in the video, but I don't agree with most of her <laughs> sports hot takes. Right, exactly. <laughs> oh, you guys need napkins? I'm Totally Sarah, check this them. out. We got a whole glove compartment for two. That's how, pre well, oh, not prepared. That's just how much food we eat in this car together. Like, I really think that what you guys do is you trap people in the car mm -hmm. right. with them. Right. And then you don't put the air conditioning on. Wait and then you yeah. slowly watch them, like, sweat. And then you blackmail them with all the, the uh, them pounding food while sweating. Mm -hmm. All that green room food that we gave you, you're yeah. giving that back. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as you start getting all lightheaded from all the, the right. water loss, that's when yeah. we start asking you questions. Oh, perfect. <laughs> water <laughs> loss. Yeah. What all right, you, switch this one with that. That one. Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna yeah, try you whatever you just put your. Oh my God. I'm gonna have another FP. Faith and that life is so into good. It. Give me more. This FPs. looks good too, though. FP? Also, in case you need it, they kindly gave us a bunch of ketchup if you need it for some fries. Sarah, did you see Heinz release? Yes. Yep. In Chicago, did you know this that you were never supposed to put ketchup on a hot dog? In honor of National Hot Dog Day, Pittsburgh-based Kraft Heinz decided to have some fun in the Windy City. It created. Chicago dog sauce, and it convinced hot dog lovers to try it. Now, little did these diehard hot dog lovers realize the special sauce was Heinz ketchup. <laughs> this is normal ketchup. This is ketchup. 
we even do flip the tape. Here's the thing, like I'm a true blue Chicagoan, right. but I will not be dictated mm. in terms of my condiments. I do like ketchup on my hot dog, and I don't need Heinz to create a faux ketchup-like substance so that I feel mm. good about it. You I don't give that. a f I'm gonna do my own thing. I'm gonna eat ketchup on my french fries. Can I swear? Yes, that's pretty oh, much God, what we yes. do here. Mm -hmm. uh, Heinz came out with a Chicago dog sauce. What does mm -hmm. that mean? It's ketchup. <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> that way it's you so can be people like, oh, don't get shamed. Mmm, you know? I see. You have a jalapeno habanero. If you, you have that is? I think so. If you have not noticed yet, one of the main reasons why Sarah is such a great guest for this show is she does not take sh from people <laughs> at all. Mm -hmm. And if you guys have ever known, a lot of people have turned away from this series because they're like, you know what? I don't like how those two guys are very uh opinionated. When we think something and if you're wrong, you're wrong. Right. That's Sarah Spain on ESPN, that's Sarah Spain in life. Yes. Um oh. Sarah, has that very ever like was that hard for you, like, growing up in journalism, not being able to do that as much, or were you always like that? I've always been very opinionated. I've always thought that the world really needed to hear what I had to say. For sure. Um, I actually would always get the account, like, the the grades back from my teacher, and the notes would always be like, Sarah needs to be more patient with others who might not get the <laughs> answer as quickly, because I would just be like, no, that's yeah, dummy. Yeah. yeah. Why are you I being mean, dumb? Girl who... Wah, 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 she can't even read. I was a little bitch at times. I didn't mm. mean to be. I just, in fact, I do recall one take your father to school day, and I really, really knew the answer, and the teacher wasn't calling on me because I'd already answered a bunch, and I started <laughs> snapping in case she hadn't seen my Hello, answer. Hello, over like, here. The worst. Um, and it is funny how some of your worst qualities can benefit you in your job. Mm, yeah. Like, I talk too much. I think everyone needs to hear what I have to say. I'm very opinionated. I occasionally interrupt. And all of those things are like, just prime for a radio host. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, no so, kidding. So like, maybe not the best at home when my husband's like, for God's sakes, do you ever shut up, woman? But on the air, great. Yeah. Four hours to kill, no problem. Some of you guys might be like, she looks familiar, I don't know why. If you don't listen to Izzy in Spain, you might have seen her on the, around the horn. <laughs> has an issue with women and for us to continue making excuses because we think he's a great father for being there and caring about his kids I think that's an incredibly low bar for fatherhood and actually insulting to black fathers that that's all we expect of them we need to have realistic conversations about his flaws or loads of all the other ESPN shows that are on mm -hmm. about hey let's talk about sports uh, that's Sarah's pretty much been on all of them I would assume yeah. also my, me and my girlfriend live together Congrats Congrats good for that. you, man. And I think that my girlfriend should hang out with your husband and talk about how <laughs> their significant others won't shut the fuck up. Because yeah. that's like yeah. all my girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ, do you ever just turn it off at all for do a second? You, um, Which you don't. Do you talk in your sleep as well? I do. Me too. I. He's like, really? Even when you're sleeping? Man, I'm like, I'm so sorry. I laugh in my sleep. <laughs> and my girlfriend will be like, I probably, probably more yeah. than likely. <laughs> I am um, my one girlfriend that I used to like crash with a lot in LA when we were in our twenties and we'd end up in weird places mm -hmm. and like passed out together. Right. She said I had like mild sleep Tourette's. <laughs> like, so you cuss a lot in your sleep? Yeah, like, that I was usually like, like arguing. <laughs> you know, for both of you I can see that being very true. Mm -hmm. So right. I mean sometimes you still have things to say even though you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not done yet. Yeah, you I'm thought done. I was done? You guys want some more uh, waffle fries? Yeah, I wanna try oh, I haven't tried those yeah, yet. I haven't had those yet. Dude, we are feasting this. Feels like Thanksgiving, but for fried pickles for a trailer park. <laughs> Come on, wow, that's so insensitive. <laughs> but probably true, right? Trailer no. parks would have a green bean casserole first of all. Yeah, yeah they would. With, like, also, Velveeta on top. Listen, my family mm. lived in a house that was connected to the ground, and we also had green bean casserole. Congrats. Thank you um, so much. Have you ever like been on Twitter on or like social media on Thanksgiving? and thought to yourself, does that person think that that looks good? Like when people mm -hmm. are like, ooh, the spread. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, why is your plate white? It's like white turkey, yeah. white mashed potatoes, some uh, really like crappy looking vegetables. You're really in the right car because I'm like, we're both two of the most, I get like, Opinionated and judgmental about things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or somebody posts like, I'm something like, like, really, you think that's a good thing? Gam Gam makes plate? the. I'm like, that looks like <laughs> shit. Yeah. I don't yeah. want that. Yeah. I mean, not only do I not want to eat that, I don't want to look at a picture of right. it in the three seconds before I've scrolled to. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, you just wasted my scrolling time and right. I'm offended. Right. It's really mostly on Thanksgiving. Right. It doesn't really bother me otherwise, but on Thanksgiving, when you should have a really well established diversity of colors on your plate, <laughs> And then someone thinks that it looks good to have some like disgusting ass gravy on a white floppy piece of meat. 
Yeah, yeah right. Some dead, chunky mashed potatoes that look like they were made with a mix. I'm like, oh my god, great <laughs> spread this year. Yeah. And I'm like, I will literally invite yeah. you to my house. Bitch, is that from Country Buffet? Like you know, if you promise to never I will, tweet that shit again. I will invite you uh, to my house to insult you further. Yeah, come on in, welcome in. You deserve an in-person beatdown. <laughs> This is like, Sean. Did you try boneless yet? I mean, I know you're going to town. I had one of those. I right. These are different flavor, right? Yep. Now, make sure your grubby hands put it in some ranch. You want blue cheese ranch? Oh yes, yeah, Sarah. Good adjective. Which one? Grubby. We're just a ranch way, it's car a, in here. It's aren't basically we? a soup bowl of ranch. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so when we're done, you guys can just take it home and just drink uh, it yeah. for Listen, dinner. I'm back sorry, back in Redford, lunch. Michigan, where I'm from, they only serve ranch in like containers mm -hmm. like that. I went home with my um, now husband when he was my boyfriend. Uh, years ago for the first time to his very very small town of Wisconsin mm -hmm. We went to a bowling alley that was like super old-school and amazing and on the wall was a sign that said Wisconsin vegetables and it was a fried zucchini a mm -hmm. fried onion a mozzarella stick. That's not a vegetable by the way <laughs> <laughs> not even close. And I, there and is I no asked vegetable. him, I'm like, oh, that's funny. He's like, oh, yeah, that's not a joke. That's like what they're saying is on the menu is like vegetable. Oh, oh my that's God. So it was amazing. Funny. Good beer, good curds. Mm -hmm. Part of an Appleton a time or two. Yeah. That's where my dad went to college. Oh, no. Yeah. Lawrence. Oh. And he was a chugging champion at his <gasps> frat. Sounds and then right. They had like a four school <laughs> chugging championship that he won, which earned their frat the right to have a Playboy Playmate flown in for their biggest party. Shut here. up. And I'm like, I need to do some Googling because my dad is full of tall tales. And yeah. I will say he can chug better than anyone. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, he challenged my sister's husband's father at my sister's wedding. And <laughs> destroyed the dude him. hadn't even taken a sip yet. Yeah, and just... we just clowned him for the whole rest mm -hmm. of the week. And we were like, that was a really terrible old move. And the only person that came close to being my dad was my dad's sister, who's a police chief. Oh, and that's she also so funny. Was crushing. I somehow did not get that gene. That. He doesn't like drink beer even. He just he just does it. He just on remembers that skill. Yeah. When we, when, yeah, when we want him to do party tricks, mm -hmm. pretty much. <laughs> on uh, my sister's weekend graduation at Lehigh, my family went eight and zero in beer pong, and <laughs> we refused to give up the table because we oh, yeah. wanted to play. We're like, beat us. Then. Yeah, you better fucking win. <laughs> and my sister. Would you guys want to let someone else no, play? We We're undefeated. Yeah, you want the table beat us and then on the way home my sister's one friend's dad like they kept having to pull over for him to puke because he was oh trying God. to come up with the spain family oh my God. can't do never, that no never try to keep up with us sounds like from your upbringing even if how unprofessional like <laughs> silence your phone spain even, even <laughs> though even though you love the cubs you're not gonna give anybody any bullshit because you're such a fan right, of the right, facts. Yeah. Right. Growing up the way you did, like exactly. you're not gonna say something that's wrong. Right. You You've just, balanced that really well. Well, and I think that's really important. And I, of course, as I've been on the job longer, it's been pretty clear to me. Like, allegiances are awesome, but I stay away from the the Packers suck. SB's week. Sarah Spain taking you behind the scenes. Go Bears. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers is super cool and fun and like what's not right. to respect about the Packers as a team? <laughs> I know. I mean some of their fans are lame, but like every team has fans that are morons. Yeah. Um, and so I think that's the big thing is I need people to believe that even though I love my teams, I'm going to call them out. And I do. The Raldis Chapman thing in the Cubs, I was super into reporting on how that was not a, you know, a good trade and obviously it worked out in terms of on the field stuff. But Yeah. Uh, that's probably even better that you're a fan because nobody gets on their team mm -hmm. worse than an actual fan. Right. That's a, especially like, Chicago fans. Like, yeah, Chicago you're going to be super you know. strict about yes. every yeah. move that all your teams make, which yeah. is it, just an awesome perspective to get, I feel like, probably. Yeah. Well, and also I like to bring the comedy stuff in because I did Second City out in L.A. Mm -hmm. And oh, you no guys way. come from the improv world. Like, yeah. that was my dream job was always Saturday Night Live, having all that improv background. I like to just kind of, like, mess with people. Yeah, you, you do. Know? And that's why I didn't want to do sports when I was growing up because there really weren't any women that got to be funny. Yeah. You know, you were either a serious anchor person or like a bubbly sidelines reporter. It was so limited. But I'm not a sideline reporter. Ooh. But everyone thinks I am because they uh, want to put all women in the same little feel category. Free, feel free to bitch slap them Which if you I'm want, just I saying, mean. I don't want to be a sideline reporter. I think it's boring. That I didn't see anybody and think like, oh, I should do that. And so right. it's cool that people have like the Michelle Beatles and Katie Nolans and like women with great personalities and that are funny. And Yeah, you've really combined those worlds. You've like taken sports and opinions and like, but being really good at what you do and like kind of meshed it into one title. You know what I mean? It's like, that's when like, when you and I started kind of working a little bit together through like Tribune stuff of like me editing some of, you know, your opinion stuff, anything in the sports section, I was like, who is this chick? Like, so, <laughs> mm -hmm. And Sarah, I was like, that's just who you are. You like stand out as that. Right. 
And that's what's just so addicting about like your content is like it's very what you see is what you get. I'm gonna tell you like it is, and if I'm not, call me out and let's have a conversation. Yeah. Don't just say things to say things. You yeah. know? I appreciate that. Yeah, I think actually one of the coolest things in your career, if it yeah. works out for you this way, is when you realize that just getting to be yourself is something people will like and Absolutely. want. Because it is, especially when you're starting out, there's such a feeling of like, who am I emulating? And, yeah. Well, I'm not as polished as this person, or I'm not as smart, or whatever it is. And then you like find your groove, and then you realize that just being sort of genuine and transparent is super appealing to people. Oh, yeah. 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 If you're lucky enough to get that. Yeah. One question I had left that I really wanted to ask you. Yes. And I try not to pre-plan too much of this, but the one thing, as soon as I was like, all right, I'm going to get to ask Sarah this question. So you went to Cornell. I did. So did Andy Bernard. Yes, oh, this of is a good. I went to Cornell. You ever heard of it? The fictional character from The Office that <clears throat> attend that school in the thank fictional you, thank show, you. Uh, The Office. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I take it Cornell graduates hey, don't All like right. that part well, of the show. <laughs> Andy Bernard is known as four different nicknames. Right. Okay. Boner Champ. Okay. Ace. Uh huh. Buzz. Uh huh. And Puke. Ooh. Of those four names, what was your personality? Were those his college nicknames? When I was in college, I used to get. A wicked hammered. Which one described you best in college? Okay, this is a great question. Thank you. We're gonna go process of elimination. For sure. Okay, puke and buzz, both alcohol related, and I I did not start drinking until I was a junior in college because I was a kind of like I said, what a kid little kid girl. You're, you're also like, yeah. well, you like a legit athlete. Too, I was doing Division One sports <laughs> yeah, that's at an true. Ivy League school, Pet and athlete, I was like, maybe no I should just see if I can get by without <laughs> yeah. being hammered. Casually all the time. doing seven um, different events. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, but also, you guys know me, like. I don't really need to get drunk to be an asshat. Right. So <laughs> I kind of was just like, nobody even knew. And then junior year when I started drinking, they were like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, oh, I, this is my second beer. And they're like, what? <laughs> I remember one of the first things I drank was just like wet, like hot gin in a plastic bottle that I found in the bushes. Oh and everyone was like, God. what are you doing? No one takes shots of gin. You're supposed to chill it. I'm like, I haven't been paying attention. Do you know who my dad is? <laughs> Give me more hot gin. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, like buzz and puke don't apply because it wasn't right. until later that I really got into oh, that. And then Boner champ uh, would be a weird thing. That would it though? I mean, I yeah. mean, I'm sure enough. I'm people, sure there's some I'm ladies. Sure in enough college. people got boners around me for it not to be like something that would scar me for life if they didn't. I didn't encounter a bunch of flaccid. You balances. never got like a crown so from like, being yeah, a boner like, I feel champ, like though. There were enough boners around for it to be, you know, status quo. It was quo. college, yeah. Um, but oh, I boners. wouldn't say it was a boner. You were middle champ. class boner. Yeah, yeah. just the she normal a, average she boner. She was yeah. like a light heavyweight boner but champ, also, not like a heavyweight boner champ. Like again, champ. midway mm. through college is really when I started to like find my stride as appealing. You know, I was sort of just jockeys, so I don't yeah. think I would have been a, a considered a boner champ, <laughs> considering <laughs> so many of my friends really achieved a much higher status in terms of yeah. boner producing <laughs> and interaction. So I gotta go with Ace yeah, because yeah. I was a track and field captain. Do you like That's how you can, you can give her any <laughs> scenario? You see that? And she just did, <laughs> like, like she did like a five minute set. I've been getting the light, I was yeah. Ace, all right, see ya. Yeah, I feel like you're like, do you like how she never stops no. talking? And I had a ton of questions and I've gotten out too. <laughs> and also when I asked the question, you were like, let me preface this by saying it's a fictional character in yeah. this show, here were the years, was filmed She had to lay out the facts, that's <laughs> yeah. that lawyer in her. Are you gonna drink that? Yeah, just yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Eat it, dude, it's always good. <laughs> Sarah Spain's drink, drinking rage. Sarah Spain's drinking rage. Sarah Spain's drinking rage. All of Sarah's links to check out her awesome stuff are below. Sarah, what do you got going on? I've got Izzy in Spain, 8 to 10 p.m. Central every weekday. Yep. I've got the Trifecta every Saturday from 11 to 2 Central. Around the Horn, usually twice a week. My podcast, That's What She Said, which usually hits every Wednesday on ESPNW.com. <laughs> and then the occasional like Sports Center podcast column, etc. My personal opinion, follow her on Twitter and just look at her feed and laugh oh, yeah. all damn day. She just roasts people if they try to say some sarcastic sh to her. Right. I'm gonna keep. Slayer. I'm gonna keep following you. Troll Slayer. I should get paid for that. Troll Slayer. Troll. Quality that should be your slayer. name. Is that your name? I'm the commish. She's the commish, but troll she's also slayer. a troll slayer. I slayer of trolls. To yeah. trolls. Suspensions. <laughs> so bad. Delete your account. <laughs> Delete that. <laughs> Brand new episode of Number Six with Cheese again tomorrow. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Sarah Spain. Peace. Peace.